Um, so you've you already given a, a lot of uh, great advice, really. Um, but if you had to think of maybe a couple other things that you, and maybe reiterate some of what you said already, um, uh, what are what are some things you think that aspiring journalists should know and keep in mind when they're when they're entering the field to be successful and to uh, print? If you're talking about print journalists, mm -hmm. play, first of all, I, I would I would advise them to make sure they know what direction the newspaper is going in before they hire on and understand kind of the, the lay of the land, that the, mm -hmm. frankly the landscape's kind of bleak right now for print journalism, New, at least newspapers. I still think magazines haven't fallen quite that low, but I would advise some, a young person thinking about a journal, journalism career to carefully appraise the landscape, talk to the editors and publishers and see exactly what they've got in mind. Um, as far as uh, uh, website now, the, you know, internet journalism, that's a different animal and I'm really not that involved in it, you know, on the internet writing I really did would be when I would write a print story and then it would be mm -hmm. transferred to the internet. Again, that's kind of a, a technical aspect of it that I, you know, I just didn't work that much in. I think somebody going into television, you know, the the the, the uh, horizon's limitless. I mean, you can look look over out there in television just un unlimited because they do such a good job nowadays. In the old days, if someone was a serious reporter, I would have, you know, 30 years ago, I said, well, I don't know, are you sure you want to be in television? Mm -hmm. You know, you got to be, a, 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 some, some guy sits there with a lot of hairspray on and a nice coat uh -huh. and tie and, and reads uh -huh. a teleprompter. They weren't, we, we used to kind of make fun of TV journalists. <laughs> <laughs> that right. Another one of those oxymorons, TV journalists. Now, you know, we're, we're the reading our lunch. Yeah. So again, you know, a, a bright young aspiring journalist like maybe yourself, the future is unlimited in television. and. And that, that that aspect of it, because they do such a good job, the TV journalists are so good nowadays. Like I say, they do a, a tremendous job, and the t television industry in general has has made the uh, has made it possible for them to do some great work. So the, the technical stunt parts there again, hate to say it, but print journalism, I'm just not sure what advice I'd give a young person, Clay, other than just to really assess the landscape and make sure that that's what they want to, to venture into. Mm -hmm. Magazine writing, I think, still kind of, it's it's not quite as dismal because magazines can still concentrate on really good in-depth features and mine, you know, mine stories and, and get a lot of detailed information for, for a feature story that maybe the newspaper newspapers can't quite get. And, and frankly, I think a lot of magazines are a little more daring, a little more edgy, and a little more willing to to get some of the behind the scenes stuff that newspapers, again, lazily just kind of toss out there. They, they go for the easy stuff and don't really dig for the for the hard stuff. Right. In other words, look for magazines. If, you, <laughs> right. if you're determined to be in the in the print industry. And, and that, another good suggestion, Clint, this is kind of a tangent. When, when I'm talking about kind of the dismal landscape for newspapers, I'm talking about dates. I still think, I do some, as I say, some my, my column is carried in the in the Lebanon, Mount Juliet, and Hartsville newspapers. I, I get all those papers at home. I spend more time reading those papers than I do my daily Tennessean, because there are great little stories there that aren't on the six o'clock and ten o'clock news. Some somebody's killed a, a a big snake in his garage, or some yeah. some lady's grilled a big potato that looked like Abe Lincoln, uh, yeah. and it's these great small town stories. And God, you know, there's so much fun to read. I mean. There, there's always something going on in these small towns. Mm -hmm. they're, they're interesting, they're fascinating, and I think that's a real opportunity, Clay, for a, a young journalist, aspiring journalist, to, to, to break in. It's, a good, it's still good, it's a good uh, groundwork to, to work for a, a small town weekly because you get to cover everything, like I say, from uh, Mr. Jones kills a, <laughs> a copperhead in his cabbage patch to somebody's got a, a turnip looks like George Washington to right. the city council meetings and the political squabbling in the small towns and mm -hmm. the fire department answers the fire. There's a the latest meth lab's been busted, you know, some dark alley. It's just a it, it's a wide open learning experience for a, a journalist because they send you out on everything. Like say one, one day you might cover a three alarm fire and the next day you might write a feature about you know, Mrs. Johnson's right. giant squash or something she's grown. And it's fun. It's it's like, kind of like the Crossville Chronicles. It's just it's fun to do. There's always something going on and it's a great 
a great way to learn the business. And everything you learn, that's an experience that you might apply later on. You know, you, you might start out to live a, de live a Democrat as a police reporter, mm -hmm. and 20 years from now you might be NBC news director right. Right, working for but it's such a great way to and it's a good way to break in you know the the big city newspapers are cutting back staff so it's tougher for young people to, to get a job on a big city paper because the jobs are fewer but there are still a lot of jobs on these mid smaller newspapers like mm -hmm. the the Lebanon democrat the hartsville vedette the mount juliet news some of these little papers they're always looking for young people coming in one reason because young people coming in <laughs> don't have the big salaries they don't right. have those big salaries mm -hmm. And uh, trade-off, you, you you work cheap, but you it's a great learning experience. So that would that would be some advice if you're if you're trying to break in, and you're finding that you know you're knocking on doors and they aren't opening. Check out some of these smaller weekly papers. The Lebanon paper, for example, it's six days a week. The Hartsville Mount Juliet papers, they're they're once a week. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a wonderful learning experience, and you'll you, you'll learn a, a, a ton, and it's a good resume builder. Excellent. Okay. Well. I think that pretty much uh, mm -hmm. answers all the questions that I've got, so I appreciate you for your time yeah. and uh, your advice and what you've done. Sorry, it's, it's been a fun ride. Yeah, <laughs> okay.